How are you feeling, little bear? My mum still hurt. Aw. I'll have some ice cream. Ice cream is good for bears with the mumps. Good. Did that hurt? Mm-mm. I wish I wasn't sick, Mother Bear. I want to play with my friends. I know. Why don't you shut your eyes? A nap will help you feel better. Ow! Oops. Sorry. <sighs> Someone is at the door. Little Bear, over here. Hi, Emily. And Lucy, too. Hello, Lucy. How do you feel? I have the mumps. I know. Do they hurt? A little. I have a present for you, Little Bear. Something to cheer you up. It's a book I wrote. Can I see it? Sure. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'd better stay out here, or I might catch the mumps, too. Thank you, Lucy. What's the book called? It's called Between Friends. Will you read it to me? Oh, but you're over there, and I'm over here. That's okay. I know it all by heart. Are you ready, little bear? Ready. <clears throat> Page one. I hope this book makes you feel better by remembering the times we shared together. Do you remember the first time we met? I do. And I like the picture you drew, Emily. I flew down the tree. Are you all right? I'm all right. Are we still going the right way? Uh-huh. Let's run. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Turn the page now, little bear. Page two. There was a time Emily met Owl, Hen, and Cat, and Duck's nieces and nephews needed to be babysat. Remember Little Peep got lost? And you found him. What? Peep, peep. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Are you okay? Oh, my mumps hurt when I laugh. Ready for page three? Page three. One day, Owl had a party. We all went to play. Then Lucy fell down a tree. <gasps> oh, Lucy! And what a good doctor Little Bear turned out to be. There, that looks much better. I like your present, Emily. Good. I hope it makes you feel better. Little Bear? Emily? Look at what Emily brought me. She made it herself. It's very lovely, Emily. But I think you should go home now. I don't want you catching the mumps. All right, Mother Bear. Thank you for the book, Emily. Get better soon, Little Bear. Goodbye. How are the mumps? They're a little sore. Oh. And Lucy? She's a little sore, too. Would some ice cream help? Ice cream would be nice. Could Lucy have some, too? Of course. <sighs> Hello. Emily, over here. Sorry you caught the mumps. Oh, that's okay. I have a present for you. Come 
Come inside, little bear. Don't worry, you've already had the mumps. Granny says you can't catch them again. Oh, I forgot. It's the book I made for you. Turn to the end. You added a story. Is that you and me at Hop Frog Pond? Do you like it? You draw very well, little bear. Mother Bear helped write the story for me, but I told her what to write. You can read it. Page four. Emily is little bear's best friend. We hope she gets better soon. <laughs> hop, frog, hop! <laughs> That's a nice hat. Now we match. The end. P.S. Let's go to Hop Frog Pond again. It's wonderful, little bear. Thank you. There's still one more page left. Yes, I thought we should write something together. Hmm. Oh, I know. How about... This story really has no end because this story is between friends. Does that sound good? Very good. Now your turn. I did the words, so you can do the picture. What do you think? Perfect. Now the book really belongs to both of us. Ooh, ooh. Oh, hello, Owl. Hello, No Feet. Uh, aren't you coming to the Blueberry Picnic? I wouldn't miss it, but first we have to watch the play. Play? The Blueberry Play. It's a very old story that we tell every year about the troll who lived under the bridge. Troll? Hello, everyone. Hello, it's time to start the play. Mmm, I can hardly wait until we can eat. First, we must choose our troll. And this year, it's going to be... Little Bear. Me? Yay! Come with me and we'll get your mask on. Can you be a mean, wicked troll? I'm hungry. Cross over my bridge. Watch out. All right, I think we're ready. Now, the troll is under the bridge where he lives. Our other players today will be Hen, Duck, Cat, and Emily. Places, everyone. Here's a lovely little bridge. I can cross over the river without getting wet. And look at all those blueberries on the other side. Isn't that nice? No! The troll! No. Watch out for the troll! Oh, nonsense. I don't see any trolls. Who's that walking over my bridge? What was that? That was me, the troll. <laughs> Who are you? I'm him. And I'm on my way to pick blueberries. Ha! That's what you think. Bop! You're going to be my dinner. Oh, please, sir. Let me go. Someone else is coming that you will like much more. Why can't I eat you and that someone else, too? Because if you eat me, you may be too full for the next person. And they might taste better. Hmm. Should I let her pass? Yes! 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 Hmm. You may go. Oh, thank you, thank you. 
That was close. Hen almost got eaten. I know. But now we'll have to worry about that someone else. And look who's coming. Oh, no. Uh, watch out, Doc! Who's that on my bridge? It's just me. Hi, little bear. Doc, I'm a troll. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come a little closer. No, I want to have a look no, at you. No no, no! no! Watch out for the troll! Mmm. Roast duck with stuffing. My favorite. Your favorite what? My favorite dinner. What? <laughs> I'll tell you, that's one lucky duck. And that's one hungry troll. Whoever comes next is not going to get away that easily. <gasps> oh, no. It's Cat. Look out, Cat. Watch out for the troll. A troll, you say? I can't see any troll, but I can sure smell something awful. Who's up there stomping on my bridge? It's me, Cat. And what do you think of that? Whoa. What I'm thinking about is roast cat. And I'm thinking about scratched troll. Uh-oh. I don't think I like roast cat. I'll wait for someone sweeter to eat. Then I'll really jump on them and eat them in two bites. Oh no, I can't look. Now, now, no feet. You must remember that it's just a play. There's really nothing to worry about. Oh no, it's Emily! For the troll! He's going to eat you! Who's that on my bridge? Grrr. Shame on you. That's not very nice to scare people like that. I'm the troll who lives under this bridge. And now I'm going to eat you in two bites. And two for two, two, two. <gasps> but Mr. Troll, you don't want to eat us. We don't taste very good. How about if I give you something good to eat? You're not tricking me. I'm hungry, and I'm going to eat both of you. The little one first. I promise you, Mr. Troll, I'll give you something sweet and delicious. And if you don't like it, then you can eat me in Tutu. Well, all right, but you better be quick. I'm hungry, and I'm not waiting all day. Here, a blueberry pie. Blueberry pie! Mmm. Remember, if I don't like it... I remember. You'll eat us both. Just try that and see what you think. Mmm. Mm. That was good. You wouldn't happen to have another one of those, would you? Only if you promise to stop eating everyone who crosses your bridge. I promise, I'll never eat another hen, or duck, or cat, or little dog, or anyone ever again. Only blueberry pies. Yay! Blueberry pies! Yeah! Isn't Emily wonderful? She fixed that old troll. And the troll was true to his word. He never ate anyone again. And that's why we have the blueberry picnic every year. Phew. Very good, little bear. Yay! Yay! Yippee! 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 Watch out for the troll! <gasps> oh, Tutu. Let the blueberry picnic begin! Hooray! <laughs> Good morning.
morning, little bear. Good morning, Emily. Want to come fishing with me? Sure. I'll get Lucy. Lucy? Come on. We can take a shortcut through here. Um, Lucy might get all scratched and dirty. Oh. Come on. The best spot is on the other side. Oh, dear. Huh? Lucy might get wet. <sighs> Lucy likes watching you fish, little bear. <sighs> Didn't you catch anything today? No, and it was all because of Lucy. Lucy? Well, Emily doesn't want to leave Lucy all by herself. And Lucy doesn't want to do anything that might get her dirty. Oh. I know. What if Lucy had a friend? A doll friend? Yes. Then Emily could leave her home and Lucy wouldn't be lonesome. A friend for Lucy. What a good idea, little bear. Could you help me make a friend, Mother Bear? We'll make one together. Just pick a color you like. All right. Not red, not, not blue, blue, not yellow, not purple. Oh, how about this? Hmm, I like it. So do I. It's nice and fuzzy and brown, just like you. <laughs> What do you think? Perfect. Almost done, Mother Bear. There. What's next? The fabric. I'll pin the paper down so it doesn't move. One side. Now we need the other. Two sides? Front and back. I'll cut the back. They match. Now we sew the two pieces together. Can I thread the needle for you? Sure. This isn't so easy. Try wetting the end with your tongue. Like this? Look! I did it! You did! Uh-oh. I think we forgot something. What's that? Ears. What next? Eyes! Oh, <laughs> not those. There, that's better. Brown eyes, like mine. It's almost done. Something's missing, though. Can you guess what? <laughs> A nose. We forgot something else. That's better. There's a hole here. You forgot to sew it up, Mother Bear. I didn't forget. That's where we put in the stuffing. Stuffing? 
so the doll will be soft. What we need is some milkweed fluff so we can finish making Lucy's friend. Little Bear. Where are you going? What's the sack for? I have to find fluff. Fluff? To stuff Lucy's friend with. Lucy has a friend? Little Bear! Wait up! Who's Lucy's friend? Why does her friend have to get stuffed? Lucy's friend is a doll. Mother Bear and I made it, and now we need fluff to stuff it with. Why didn't you say so? There's lots of fluff down by the river. Thank you, Hen. Little Bear! Oh, wait for us! We want to help! There's plenty of milkweed over here. I've got a ton. Uh, 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 chew! <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. This should be enough. Thank you for helping me, everybody. <laughs> there, little bear. Lucy's friend is done. A fishing pole. I hope he's a good fisherman, like you. <laughs> wow! You are right, little bear. This is a great fishing spot. Oh, I've got another one, too. Lucy seems to be having a good time. Yes, she is. Now that she has a friend to play with, what shall we call him? Oops, we forgot to pick a name. Let's call him Fisherman Bear, because he likes to fish, just like you. Good idea. 